Okay, so for this example, this is the arc length section. Continuing our example 7.4. We have find the arc length of the graph of this function here on the interval 0 to 8, round your answer to three decimal places. If they don't indicate what variables are in the interval, you're always supposed to assume that those are x values, okay? Normally intervals are given to us in x values unless specifically stated that they're y values, okay? So since they gave me this interval here, I know that that's x values, which means that I know my bounds are gonna be from zero to eight. However, if they're x values, I need to have a function in terms of x which means I need to solve this function for y so that I have a function in terms of x. Okay, so let's take that over here off to the side and solve for x. So if I take the cube root of both sides, I will get the cube root of x squared. And if I add one to both sides, I get the cube root of x squared plus one. Another way of writing that is x to the 2 thirds plus 1. So that is the function that I have for y. Now, remember the formula has y prime, which means I need to find the derivative of that function. So I get 2 thirds x, and if I take away 1, to the negative 1 third. And the derivative of 1 is just 0. Okay. So if I square this function, because I do need to square it in the formula, I will get four over nine x to the negative two thirds, okay? And if I add one, we need a common denominator here. So we have one plus 4 over 9x to the 2 thirds because a negative exponent means it's downstairs. So then I have 9x to the 2 thirds plus 4 over 9x to the 2 thirds. And that is what I will need to integrate. Okay, so I'm going to integrate the square root of 1 plus y prime squared. This is 1 plus y prime squared. And if I simplify the radical part of this, um, if I take the square root of nine, I get three. And if I take the square root of x to the two thirds, I get x to the one third. But inside, I still have the numerator. There is no rule that allows you to take the square root of each term individually like that. Only a product or a quotient can you separate the square roots, okay? So I am gonna rewrite this in a different way. I'm gonna rewrite the radical as a power. And then we're gonna see if we can use u substitution to evaluate this uh, or to integrate this problem. So if I let u equal nine x to the two thirds plus four, du would be 9 times 2 thirds x to the 1 third. Which would be 6x to the 1 third. Oh, I forgot my dx. Now, oh, that should be negative because I took away 1 which is the same as saying 6 over x to the 1 third dx. Now I have the 1 third, x to the 1 third at the denominator and the dx over here on the side. What I don't have is the 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, divide both sides by 6. I would go with this, but if you really want this to match what you have there and there, then you could multiply both sides by three. But if you do that, or not multiply, I'm sorry, 
divide both sides by 3, which is the same as multiplying one third on both sides. You would have du over 18 equal to 1 over 3x to the 1 third dx. And then now you know exactly what to replace with this and this. And you even know what to replace this with. So you end up with 0 to 8. Um, these two guys are going to become du over 18. This is going to become your u to the 1 half which is the same as saying 1 over 18 times the integral of u to the 1 half du. So we apply our prior power rule. We get u to the 3 halves times 2 thirds, and we have to evaluate it from 0 to 8. However, we can't evaluate it just yet because those values, 0 and 8, are actually x values, not u values. So we have to back sub for u. Remember, u is equal to this. Now we can plug in 8. Okay? So if I plug in 8 into here, the cube root of 8 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 9 is 36. And 36 plus 4 is 40. Now if I plug in 0, this whole thing is 0. No, I still had some more to do. Okay. So here we got um, 40, but it would be 40 raised to the 3 halves. Since I can't take the square root of 40, I'm going to leave it just like that. Minus... When I plug in 0, I would get 0, and then I would get 4 to the 3 halves. So, let's see what we end up with here. I think we can type that in the calculator. So, 1 over 27 times... 40 raised to the 3 over 2 minus 4 raised to the 3 over 2 oh I know what happened I put 12 not 1 I was like that's a really big number delete it should be 1 over 27 times that expression. There we go. And usually they want me to round it to three decimal places. So it'll be 9.073.